without ceasing, you would see Ward on his bicycle in the evenings, going down to the London. Not being dependent on anyone, but trying to be independent for himself. And so, I overheard that he was not well. And there was health issues. And it came to the point when he had to go to the doctors and um, that was the end of it. He never came back. All we heard is that he was no longer with us. As I stand here as a friend, as a family, a friend of the family, I, I can only wish that he was able to make it right with God before the breath left the body. And so as I close in my statement and my tribute, let me just say, I wish that his soul would rest in peace and that he would have found comfort in heaven, that he had made it right before it was too late. Let us praise God. Praise Let me hear you worship the Lord. Praise As the pastor said not long ago, we can only endure for a night. But the nice thing is that joy is coming. Amen? Amen. And I don't know about it, but I'm excited about the morning. Because that is when joy comes. Bless the Lord. It doesn't matter what we're going through in life. We are looking forward to that time when joy will come. Amen. The Lord himself shall wipe away every tear from our eyes. No more sickness, no more sorrow, no more pain. The writer said, the former things are passed away. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> hey, that is the joy of the Christians. The former things are passed away. And so we're excited to see what the Lord will do for us. Our second lesson comes from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 50 to 58. Kevin Faulkner, the brother, will read.
will leave her dead. Amen. 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 Family, keep her. Love God. We do understand that one of the things that I I always say, if, my, if, if I'm talking about somebody else, I have to say that about my family. If the person does not live the life of please God, I don't care what the preacher wants to say. It belongs to him. You can't change it. The writer said there's no repentance in the grave. No pardon offered to the dead. It is finished. I listen to a preacher uh, sometime this week. And he, she had a relationship with a certain young man. But the young man wasn't so nice. <laughs> but she failed to say from the podium. She said that people can say what they want to say. But I know that it is left up to God. He left up to God, but he didn't live the life to please God. Call a spirit a spirit. Not because it's your friend. Scripture can't lie. Whatever seed and man sow, that shall be that's all So you could have polished it, you can't polish it no more. <laughs> 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 My family, let us only look to God. Yes. And to our look. Jesus, keep me Yeah. 
sin and every way that easily beset us. Put on your running shoes. Run this race with patience. Bless the Lord. So that when he comes to call for you, he can say to you, come my child. There is a room in the mansion awaiting you. And so today we have much to be thankful and to be grateful for. What a beautiful afternoon to celebrate the life of Ward. I don't remember stopping at his jerk chicken stand. But I might, who knows. But then it's all over, it's finished. Who got chicken got, who didn't get no more able to get again. It's over, eh? In life, things are short. And so all of us are required to make good use of your life. Some of you are cruising like you're not sure where you're going. Uh -huh. Stop cruising. Amen. And be sure where you are going because you're accountable to God. I want to share a quick word with you. It's a warm afternoon. It's going to be a very hot summer. And all of us needs to prepare ourselves. From the book of Job 19. And I want to share four verses with you. And it says, for I know and I want you to understand the, underline the word no. Yes. That my redeemer liveth. Yes. Amen. Yes. It didn't say lives. It says liveth. Yes. He's not dead. No. Amen. And that he shall stand up at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin Work destroy this body. Yet in my flesh shall I see God. Whom I shall see for myself. It doesn't matter if I have lost my eyesight here. I shall see him for myself. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And my eyes shall behold another number. Though my reign be consumed within me, but he shall say, Hallelujah. Why persecute we him, seeing the root of the matter is found in him? Then verse 29 said, Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth. The punishment of this word. Yes. That he may know that there is a judgment. Amen. We come here today to mourn when the family of war. A loving person according to Reverend McDee yes. and Reverend Forrester when they spoke. Everyone that is born into this world and also must recognize that you have to leave it. Yeah. And for most people, their deepest instinct, bless the Lord, and conviction allow them to know that there is something beyond the grave. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. There is something after this life. Yeah. There is something after we are left here. Yeah. Amen. And so for each of us, a time is coming when we will step from this life. Doesn't matter what you own. Doesn't matter what you have. Doesn't matter how you look. Doesn't matter what color you possess. You're going to walk away from this lifetime into eternity. Hallelujah. We what we possess yeah. and where we come from yeah. and who 
Touch your neighbor. I said, what do you have? Yeah. I got clothes right here. What do you have? Bolsters, what do you have? Oh, people have to reject God. What do you have? Those who live for themselves. What do you have? All those bolsters who are walking without God. What do you have? the 
negatives. Oh, yeah. But I don't know the positives. Oh, yeah. better. That's right. Go ahead, preacher. Some people are going to come and tell you. Hey. You need to go look. Yeah. But they can't. It's not normal. Yeah. Some people are going to tell you. It's not normal. Hallelujah. But John said, I know what you are saying, but there's something that I know. That you know. No. Hallelujah. 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 In spite of my loss. Yes. 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 Let me close. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for five minutes. Let me walk. Let me walk. Why you have? You're the Sankalang, you're the Sankalang. 
Beloved family. 
family members. There is an opportunity right here, right now, to do what is right and not what is popular. I've been asked to pray for the family. And as I stand here to reach out to heaven on the family's behalf, I pray that the Holy Spirit would speak to your hearts. And for those of you who have not made Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, that this opportunity would not pass you. Understanding you may never have another chance to make it right. And we have just been lent here for a season and a time. 
Be the God that you are to this family. The God of salvation. Their refuge and strength. Their very present help in time of trouble. Their anchor which holds and grips the solid rock. Father, I pray your blessings upon this family this afternoon. And the well-wishers of God who have gathered together in such a setting as this to give their last farewell to their beloved friend and family. We bless you now in the name of the Father. We bless you now, Heavenly hey. Father, in the name of the Son. Yes, and we bless you now in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. At this time we'll be taking the, the poem by Kimura Father, the daughter. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm Christine Myers, my baby mother. I just want to apologize for reaching this late. I to leave half of my family on the road because the bus that we are coming in will break down three times. I'm to leave the family. So I'm very sorry for reaching this late. But I'm very sorry for reaching for finish. Thank you very much. His daughter will read the poem. A poem for my daddy. Daddy, I am often told I am just like you. I am a honor beyond measure, if that is true. You were the best example. What a man. I'm going to read that first. 
It is painful for me to say my final goodbye to my favorite nephew, Gord Richard Fortnum. My name is Dana Dunn Smith. I am his mother's big sister. The late Richard Ward Fortnum, commonly known as Ward, was my very cute nephew. He will be missed by his family, friends, his customers who loved his dirt chicken and festival. With the cutest smile, he touched our hearts, his friendliness and grace demands the attention of those he chose to associate with. Ward's smile always drew you closer to his heart, while he innocently looked away, leaving you wondering, who is this cutie? He was obviously a charming man who stole the heart of a lovely woman named Christine Myers. Lovely Christine gave Ward the special gift he asked of her, the gift of a lovely daughter named Kemora Ariana Fortner. This little girl is beautiful, intelligent, compassionate. She carries enough love in, in, and profound, profound grace to flourish our very evil, dishonest, selfish world. When Ward was sweet, he was sweet. And whenever he was bitter, he could be very bitter. Ward was very kind, sensitive, and quick-tempered. He was a little man with big dreams and over-ambitious goals. Some he acquired and some seems unreachable. Lovely Dana Alice and her nephew Ray bought and cared for him, bought food and cared for him in the hospital. I remember asking him on the phone if he was eating, and I remember the vibration of satisfaction that penetrated my curiosity, knowing he was fulfilled, eating well, that's eating Meyer soup. Thank you, Ray Meyer, for doing what families are supposed to do. My, ja my daughter Janet prayed with him while he was in the hospital, and he told her that he would give his life to the Lord. I am overly grateful to Mrs. Andes, Mrs. Andrews, whom he always called T.D. Tomlinson, and her daughter, who is my sister, <laughs> who was Ward's sister, for loving Ward. Their generous help will never be forgotten. All the people who stood and are standing strong on Ward's side, I will be forever grateful. My lovely daughter, Janet Glaze Hines, and I are very happy to pay for Ward's funeral package. We wish we could have saved his life, and we had so much to talk to him about, and he had so much more positivity to give to the world. Ever since he was a little boy, my duty was to take care of him. When I spoke to him in the hospital, his words were, thank you, aunt. Just hearing your voice gives me hope. He wanted me to know, I, he wanted me to know that his little girl was his life and he asked me to take care of Christine and his baby. To my friends and family, love is the answer. May God bless you all. That is from Miss Dana John Okay, this is the other one. One golden heart stopped beating hard working hands at rest. God broke our hearts the day he decided to take you home. But it only proves he always takes the best. Theology for the late Richard Roy Fortman, affectionately called Ward or Party. Born March 14, 1967, to parents the late Arbor Fortman and Alfreda Dunn. Ward grew up with his step-grandmother, Mrs. Elena Dunn, affectionately called Ma Curry, her husband, Mr. Dunn, his daughter, Dana, and her daughter, Janet. Both Ward and Janet grew up together like sisters rather than cousins. Ward attended the St. Paul's Primary School, then later the Little London Secondary School. After leaving school, his first job was at the Froome Sugar Factory as a scale clerk. We all know that sugar cane is a seasonal crop, and so he decided to venture out 
on his own business. Those of you who know the Faulkner family knows that business runs in our blood. He owned and operated his own jerk chicken stand in the little London area. He, could, he would cook the most delicious finger licking chicken you could ever taste it. Warren, being the businessman he was, realized that the cost of chicken began increasing on a daily basis, so he raised his own chickens. By doing so, he cut out the middleman to increase profit margin. Warren saw it was good for a man not to be alone. So in 2007, he met the lovely Christina Myers at the union produced one child, the beautiful Kenora Ariane Farmer. She was Ward's heartbeat, the love of his life. Whenever he talks about her, his entire face lit up. One could always see the love that he has for his daughter. Sorry, one could always see the love he has for his daughter. Not see the love, only, sorry, let me read that. One could not only see the love he has for his daughter, but you could feel it as well. Ward was a jovial person, always smiling with his hands on his hips. But don't let that smile fool you. He was a no-nonsense person, as he doesn't like anyone interfering with his things or invading his personal space. Ward was a party man. He loved and enjoyed going to stone love parties, wherever they were kept. Both him and his cousin Shorty who was also his best friend, would attend such parties. Ward would be decked in his three-piece suit and his clerks. In fact, you hardly see him and he wasn't sporting a pair of clerks. I must add that he loves expensive clothes. Ward was ailing for some time with his foot due to an accident. His loving cousin Ray would accompany him to and from the hospital or to the doctor. His condition worsened and he was hospitalized and on June 6, he succumbed to his illness. Left to mourn his death is his daughter Kimora, her mother Christine, his aunt, Mrs. Dana, Don Smith, Hyacinth Fauna, Gloria Miller, cousins Janet, Ray, Moya, Shorty, and Lexi, and all other cousins I have failed to mention. Brothers Andrew, Devon, and Kevin, sisters Vinette, Marcy, and Sharon. I must also say a big thank you to Miss Claudine, to Ray, to Maya, and to Lexi, to Taxi Kova, to Mrs. Donna Don Smith, and her daughter Johnny Glaze, to Miss D. Um, and to his niece Nikita and all the others that I have forgotten to mention personally. Your kindness is really appreciated. Richard Ward Part Party, sleep in peace and may your soul rest in peace. We love you, but God loves you best. Thank you very much, this is James. You do listen attentively to the eulogy, so you do understand. Yeah.
Fart, I am. I'm sorry, I'm sure it's sad as hell. I want to help me stop with this. I need to go down. this while. So God, now as we're about to put the remains back to Mother Earth, we pray, O oh God Almighty, that you will comfort those that mourn. Help them to understand that this weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Have your own sweet way now as we leave the rest entirely to your King. These mercies we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord had taken away Blessed be the name of the Lord. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God for as much as he knows that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. We're going to sing another verse and the men are going to lower the casket. On the bright and cloudless morning when the day shall rise and the glory of his resurrection shall when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the road is called thunder and rain. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, 
ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God of our Savior Jesus Christ, who shall change the body of our humiliation and fashion it anew in the likeness of his own body of glory, according to the mighty working whereby he's able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so set the spirit for their rest from their labors. The benediction. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceedingly great joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be dominion and power, might and majesty, both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 We're going to ask the men to come at this time sing the grave as we continue to sing the songs on the program. While we have some choruses left, let us sing the choruses. Where's my singing sister? <laughs> no grave can't hold my body down. No grave can't hold my body down.
and sharing. The family indeed is thankful to you for your kind support. We pray that all of you will continue to lift them up in your prayers because uh, the lonely time has just begun. Mm. I pray that God will bless you on your way going home. Mm. Be careful drivers and let us get home in safely. God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful Saturday in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank